In this session, we will demonstrate the use of tracker capture to collect tracker-based data. We will start by introducing the tracker capture interface. We will then demonstrate how we can filter different cases within a particular tracker program. We will show examples of both simple and advanced searches. We will also register new entities within a tracker program. We will show the tracker person dashboard the data entry interface within Tracker, and how we can enter data into Tracker programs. We will also show how we can add in new events for Tracker programs, add in relationships, send messages, and delete tracked entities within a Tracker program. Let's go ahead and get started with the session. In this demonstration, we will go over the use of Tracker Capture to collect individual data. We will use the antenatal care example program that we discussed in the previous demonstration to discuss concepts within Tracker Capture. In order to access Tracker Capture, we'll go to our apps and find the Tracker Capture application. To start data entry, we first should select an organization unit. This is similar to both event capture and aggregated data entry. Upon selecting the organization unit, I then get a list of individuals who belong to a program that belongs to that organization unit. We can see if we select the dropdown, there are several health programs that belong to this particular organization unit, but we will use this ANC example program for this demonstration. In the Tracker Capture interface, there are a couple items we should make ourselves familiar with. For starters, we can use the individual filters to filter the list of individuals that appear on this Tracker Capture page. If we hover over one of the items, we can see that it provides us with a small description. The icon with the calendar indicates that we can filter out those individuals who have an event today. If we click on this item, it will filter out those individuals who only have an event today. What this means in practice is that these individuals have an appointment within the ANC program that is scheduled for today. We can also list any enrollment status. If we click on this icon, it will list all of the individuals associated with this program in this particular organization unit. These individuals could have completed the program could have an event scheduled today, an event scheduled at any other day, or could have dropped out of the program. We can also filter out those users that have active enrollment. These users are still within the program and receiving services. They have not yet completed the program or dropped out of the program. We can also click on the check mark. This shows us those cases that have completed their enrollment. This means they have gone through the entirety of this antenatal care program. Lastly, we can filter out those users who have cancelled enrollment. This means that for some reason they have dropped out of this particular health program. Just like event capture, we can download a list of the entities that appear on this page. If we click on the download button, we can then download this in various formats. If we download this, we can open it up on our computer and use it offline. We can also add in columns to this front page. We'll click on the show hide columns button, and then we can add in new columns as necessary. Unlike the case with event capture, where we actually saw the data elements associated with the program, what we see here are the attributes of that individual. These are the attributes we use to register this person in this particular health program and uniquely identify them every time we go to search for them. We can also filter this list by searching for individuals. We have both simple searches 
as well as advanced searches that we can use in order to filter these individuals. For a simple search, we can just type in our search criteria in the prompt. We'll click on the magnifying glass and it will filter out any cases that meet our particular criteria. We can also perform an advanced search. If we click on the button beside the search field, we then have a number of different items that we can specify for this particular search. Note that in Tracker, we can also search for individuals that are not in the current organization unit that we are reviewing. This allows us to find individuals who may have received services in one clinic and are now receiving their next set of services in another facility. We can use any combination of the attributes of that individual in order to find them. Once we enter in our search criteria, we can click on search. This will pull up that individual. This can be quite useful if we are searching from a long list of entities and we need to find a specific person in order to continue to track their health services. We can use this green list all button in order to list all the cases again and remove the filters. Now that we have described this initial interface in Tracker Capture, let's register a new person and enroll them in the antenatal care program.